please know that this video is going to contain some very, very graphic uh, footage. If you have any young ones, please do not show this. Let them go into the other room or something like that. So today we're going to be talking about the uh, officers who pushed the 75-year-old uh, man to the ground. He was a protester out there. And uh, yeah, we're going to show the footage here. There's two different angles. Again, it's very graphic. If you have any young ones or you are squeamish, please click off now or clip or, or um, skip ahead. Welcome to the Neo Digital Podcast, y'all. This is your homie Jolly, and I'm here with my whole host Dinanu. My my whole host. Did I say ho-host? I, I swear you... I could have said co-host. I think I just didn't didn't pronounce the C. See, in my mouth, <laughs> I felt the... It just didn't come out. <laughs> All right, YouTube, what's going on? My name is Dananu. And he's the ho-host of Neo Digital <laughs> Podcast. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so you haven't seen the video yet. No, no, I have not. Ooh, I heard bro. about it, but I haven't seen it. Just play it. I may have to mute my sound because I can't hear that that sound again. But go ahead, play Is it. Is that bad? Like it's play it, bro. Oh. oh. I thought that was a gunshot going on. That was his head. Damn. Nope. It's, it's go play. It's go play the next one. Okay, I'm just trying to. There we go. That way they get the whole thing in the video. He, yeah, he got shit to, sent to the hospital, stable, but serious condition. Ooh, he, he's 75. Of course he's gonna go to the hospital. Keep on pushing. Here, here it is. Here it is. Ooh, the fuck, man! Damn. You just go to look down and walk. Nobody bending and check this dude out. Hmm. They originally said that he's tripped and fell. I'm mad that nobody bent down and like, I mean, granted, I can understand not moving him, but nobody looked bent down and looked at him and that's fucked up. Number one, he's a seventy-five-year-old, you know, year-old man. Where's the threat of that? You saw how they shut like two two officers shut yeah. him. So, so here's the thing: you mean to tell me that just because? Oh my God! Uh, just because he's a protester, you have to shove him back. You mean to tell me you could he you could have easily grabbed him by the arm and walked him away? Yeah. Or just walk him, him off. back. Yeah, or walk him like if there's if he's standing in front of you, just walk him off to the side where the steps were. So well, that, well, that he that he's not impeding your path. But they're no, they're trying to get everybody back. So even mm. off the steps. So so that whole block should be empty. Yeah, but, but you don't here's the thing, you can't people, sh you can't do that. Like why would you do that and expect him not to fall down? He's seventy five. Yeah. You don't do that. Like, like if it was me, yeah, push my big ass. Like I, I'm gonna take a few steps back, but it's like he's an old man. You know, s sir, you have to move back, please. We can't. You know, we're just here doing our job, sir. We're not trying to cause no trouble. We're, but we just have to have you move back. You know what? What happened to that? <laughs> so that footage happened about 12, 15 hours ago. Um, I had saw it on my on my, my Instagram, my uh, Twitter. And it was it was fucking brutal to watch then, and it's still brutal to watch now. Just yeah. Just how it, how that, that blood just started flowing, man. It's it's like holy shit. I mean, you could have cracked just, the skull open. That's yeah, concrete. <laughs> that's that's internal bleeding. And, yeah. And these officers literally walked past him, it's like oh welcome, shit. I guess. Yep. Oh shit. Oh, he's bleeding. You know, get a get a medic. We ha we have medics. 
He's bleeding out of his ear. Yeah, no shit. Yeah, like there's a protocol to not help somebody. That's that like I, that's the vibe I was getting from that. So but still, that's but still if he's 75, it's like fuck protocol. At least let me check to see this dude. Sir, can you hear me? You know, or you know, something. Probably got a fucking concussion. If it so, his head one cracked open. The two officers were suspended. They weren't fired. They were suspended until further investigation. I don't I don't know what there is to investigate. You can see the footage. Yeah. They they pushed him. Yep. One shoved him with his with a fucking stick and the other one pushed his shoulder. What do you expect he's gonna have what do you expect is gonna happen? Yep. You thought he was just gonna walk back a few steps and then turn and run away? No. He's a fucking activist, just like everyone else is. He's probably been doing that shit for the past 40, 50 years. Mm -hmm. He was probably out there with in the civil rights movement fucking doing that shit too. Yep. So, because these two dickheads were uh, suspended, 57 other officers uh, resigned from the special team. So was 57? that the team that was doing the, the walking yeah. on the video? Okay. Yep. I want to say it was 57. Yep, there it is. All right, so again, this is from CNN. Take what you hear with a grain of salt because, again, everyone has their fucking agenda and we mm. have proven that CNN is not always credible when it comes to these articles. Again, the David um, McAtee, they said he was unarmed. He was armed. He did shoot. Or at least that's what we gathered from the videos. And you can uh, see that in one of the other videos that we, we uploaded. Uh, so here we can go through and see that um, 57 police officers in Buffalo, New York, uh, is that? Yeah. Have resigned from the forces emergency response team following the suspension of two officers who allegedly pushed a 75 year old protester to the ground. A source close to the situation said Friday. Now, I thought that they resigned because they knew they fucked up that they were a part mm -hmm. of a team that would push an old man to the ground no they were doing it because they were upset that he that these two police officers got suspended for following orders so they got suspended they they wanted to see him them fired is no. that why they they quit no they were upset because they that these two officers got suspended for following orders they oh it's like it was they the orders told, that they were told to, to if anybody yes. gets in your face push him back Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So 57 re uh, resigned from the emergency unit, but not from the force. The Buffalo mayor's office told CNN that 57 members that resigned from the unit make up the entire active emergency response team. So basically the whole emergency response team was them and they resigned from it. So if they ever get sent out again, they'll probably say no. But at the same time, you don't want to lose your job. Half yeah, you motherfuckers exactly. get fired if you do that shit. So it's kind of dumb to resign to something where you're basically the entire police force. Yeah. Uh, a few members of the unit are out currently and are not included in the 57 that resigned, according to the mayor's office. 57 resigned in disgust because of the treatment of two of their members who were simply executing orders. And that's Buffalo... Uh, police Benevolent uh, Association President John Evans told WGRZ on Friday, WKBW also reported news of the resignations. The man's identity, Martin Guingo, I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name, I do apologize, was confirmed by the Kumo's office as the governor. Uh, Guingo is hospitalized in serious but stable condition, authority said. An attorney representing Guingo re released a statement saying Guingo is alert and oriented and described him as a longtime peaceful protester and human rights advocate that's good that's good that he didn't you know crack his skull open and die because you know yeah happen yeah so the buffalo mayor says officers should receive due process mayor brian brown said that he wanted the two officers suspended to get due process i'm not calling for them to be fired Speaking of the injured man, the mayor said he was asked to leave numerous times last night. Police felt that it was important to clear the area before fights broke out among the protesters. What fucking protesters? There were there were no protesters in the fucking video other than maybe two or three that we saw. Yeah. And plus, why so, would protesters fight amongst themselves? Yeah. Yeah. 
that that makes no fucking sense. It's just it's just they wanted they want the area clear. That's it. Mm-hmm. Brown said the city has a contingency plan. Buffalo will be safe this weekend, he said. We have a contingency plan. We have always had a contingency plan. Who the, who the fuck are you, Batman, nigga? Like, <laughs> a contingency plan? What the fuck? Got a big-ass fuck fucking yellow utility belt. No, like, I'm ready. Fuck <laughs> you know, just, fucking... Let's give the governor his prep time. You know, he, he'll solve all these problems. <laughs> yeah, got his, got his Viagra and his bullets and shit. Get the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> contingency plan i mean that just sounds like bullshit that sounds like i want to assert force and show mm-hmm. these motherfuckers you can't play with my city and i don't yeah. care who gets in your way take them out you know so mm-hmm. uh the demonstrations in niagara square were like those across the country calling for racial justice after the killing of george floyd in minneapolis police custody based on the initial video police issued a statement that said guango tr- guango tripped and fell police spokesman mike DeGeorge told cnn after more videos became available police amended that statement and of buffalo police did. commissioner brian lockwood uh byron lockwood suspended the officers without pay great and opened an investigation he said the department moved swiftly and corrected the information so um there is no typo there that's not a fucking typo when you say someone tripped and fell if you misspelled trip Mm -hmm. (laughs) that's a typo you amended so this is an official document you mean tell me no one officially change it yeah so that right there to me is a fireable offense you lied on a legally binding document if i lie on a on a police report and like somebody gets pulled over or like something happens and i lie on that shit that can be held up in the court of law. I can go to jail for that shit. But a police officer, multiple police officers who said, oh yeah, he tripped and fell. There was at least five motherfuckers around him that saw what happened. Mm-hmm. They pushed him. And you can lie and say that he tripped and fell and now you just amend it and nothing's wrong. That's that's the problem. That is yep. the problem. When you can't admit that you pushed a guy and then mm-hmm. footage has to come out to show he got pushed. And this isn't even a black thing. Nope. He's not even a black guy. He's not even a black protester. He is a old white male protester out there who is peacefully protesting. You push him down. He cracks his skull. Blood is coming from his ears. And now you're like, oh, he tripped and fell. But now you're, you want to be honest with him. Like, oh, no, he got pushed. It was, it was amended. Yeah, we were wrong for that. My bad. My bad. We didn't mean to put that the fuck out of here man and now and mm-hmm. and then people want to wonder why we have riots and why we have protesters in the first place because fucking cops are out there lying about what actually happened and we have to wait for physical video evidence to prove otherwise it's shit mm-hmm. and uh if that video uh, evidence wasn't there you think they would have retracted that uh that statement <laughs> oh his Fuck ass no. would have, his ass would have tripped and fell, and that would have been the official record. You know, nothing would have changed. And yeah, no. the sad part about it is, is like how many, how, how much more dirty shit, or or you know, have we have yet to see, or how many videos have we already seen about cops planting evidence, lying on shit, doing mm-hmm. all this shady shit just then just to try to get more numbers or more points, or just doing doing what they're fucking told, like these assholes. It's just now, like, it's it, it, I mean, it's that good old boy system. That's what it is. Exactly. Now, the governor said that when he saw it, he got sick to the stomach. And he also said that the said the officer should be fired and prosecute a uh, prosecutor should move fairly but quickly. He said that I would encourage the district attorney not to do what happened in Minneapolis, which is delay itself caused issues which is the delay itself caused issues and the governor adding people don't want vagary they are upset and want answers Mm -hmm. and that's what this would have been very fucking vague what happened he tripped and fell did he is that is that what happened well there's video out there that says you fucking pushed him they must have a different definition for for the word trip than, than most people yeah yeah oh yeah he tripped over my baton that i was uh tossing Mm -hmm. into his chest you know it's unfortunate but it happens those you know 
Yeah, it happens all the, the time with, with these, in, 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 you know, with these dark skinned people. Oh, that trigger me. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's it's that's that's fucking sad. And here's the other thing: I don't know whether I'm upset at the officers or the mayor. If those were their orders, mm -hmm. then I can see why they would be like, why are they getting suspended? And we were told to do that. Yeah. But at the same time, that's also why I don't like this kind of authority is the authority where you do as you're told and you don't question it. Mm -hmm. see, see that little boy out there with that little toy rifle? Go shoot him. But okay. why? He's not doing anything wrong. Go shoot him. That, those are your orders. Yes, sir. Also, now you see, now you see if how how the government has your back. Go do this. Go break this man's skull mm -hmm. open. And now who's at fault? You are, dumbass. What did you yep. think was gonna happen? That's how the law works. If somebody said go shoot somebody. The person who does the shooting is the person that's gonna get in trouble. Well, also the person that hired somebody to go shoot somebody. I mean, that's just how that works too. <laughs> but yeah, just don't get but, caught, you know. Don't get caught. But the point is, is that it's always gonna be the person who does the act that gets it, mm. especially if you're in the government. I don't know. I don't know how the military is. Like I don't. I don't know how that works. Like war crimes and shit. I don't know if the commanding officers get in trouble for that shit. If they were, if they commanded them to do something and then the soldier followed orders. Like I don't. I don't really know how that works. I'm not going to speculate on how that works. But well, at the well, same time, well, I'm sure they they would get in trouble. I mean, granted, the soldiers probably wouldn't get in trouble. Like you know, if like if they ordered everybody to kill everybody. The mm -hmm. soldiers would, you know, let's say like they're, you know, killing civilians and they say, okay, I want you to go in this town and kill everybody. Mm. You know, if they're not, you know, you have to follow what they call the rules of engagement. That I do know. I mean, I don't know shit about the military. I, otherwise, I've never served, but they have to follow that, those rules of engagement. You can't bypass that even like, like even if you're told to do something specifically. Yeah. You know, it's, you have those rules. Like you can't fire until we're fired upon. Like they got to follow all that shit. You know, and you know, unless you're like in full blown wartime or something, or you're already in combat, then rules may be a little bit different. But they may have, but they may still judge orders valid or invalid. So, like, if uh, I'm pretty sure plenty of officers have been have given shitty bad orders, and <laughs> you know, nothing ever happened to them, and some, and some got arrested, and uh, well, what do they call that? Court martial and all that stuff. Martial, so, yeah. you know, they got those military courts and stuff that they got to go to for bad decisions or wrongful deaths or training accidents and all that shit so that makes sense so there's more protection there for for those kind of things yeah i guess that that would make more sense because you're out of country when yeah. you're out of country there's that whole geneva convention thing and a bunch of other rules that you got to follow we don't really have that state side though no. so when you have orders to do shit like that who's going to get in trouble especially if you can see that your people are lying saying that he yeah. tripped and fell if an officer says that shit what do you think that your commanding officer is going to do for you they're not going to fucking lie for you no no they want they need their job i mean if yeah. anything i mean i don't know if they should be fired well i mean personally i want i want to see them get fired because that's that's a fucked up shit but legally it's kind of hard to because if they were told to do that then that, that, that falls upon your management and establishment. So whoever told him to do that, their boss, if he was the person to do it, then hey, fire mm. his ass. He gave wrong orders. So maybe suspend them, fire the boss. That's the, that's the best thing I would say. So we do have one more video to watch. Okay. But in saying that, I just thought of something. What, what if the orders were to push everyone back Right, meaning to get mm -hmm. them off of the street no matter what. Yep. What if it's the same order that the guy received with um, George Floyd? What? Put your a, knee on arrest, his neck? arrest <laughs> them, calm them down in some kind of form or fashion or whatever. Like, what if they say that those are the orders that he was getting? 
You know what I mean? It's like, mm. where do you draw the line between dumbass orders and human decency? Well, I would assume that's up to the individual that's that's doing doing the dirt. I mean, granted, in George in George Floyd's case, uh, regardless, I'm pretty sure the op, you know, the guy didn't say, "Hey, put your knee on his neck until he can't breathe no more." Yeah. So that's true. I mean, if he did give that kind of order, then they deserve everything that's, they get. That's all I'm gonna say about that one. But that's what I mean. So like food for just food for thought. Like it's just the yeah. the bullshit of I was told to do this. Mm-hmm. Police officers don't get the same kind of military training that that military officers do. It's like it's like you in the military you, you, you were you Yeah, you don't you don't need it. Like yeah, you have the rules of engagement, yeah. but every soldier like I'm pretty sure like that's why um the military doesn't want to fully automate everything. Like they can easily make drones and stuff that bomb people. That's the problem with that. You disconnect people from the act of committing war. Yeah. So go back to it. Another thing that Gundam Wing was about, <laughs> drone combat. <laughs> but that's the problem with that. You know, once you disconnect it, there's no human element in there. That's why they don't make a nuclear bomb that the president can hit a button and hit. Yeah, he has a suitcase to do that, but there's a lot of things that go along with that and contingency plans and like how many people fly planes to bomb other countries and they be like, look, I'm not doing this. I don't care what you do to me. I'm not bombing these people. You know, you always need that human element in there to make that decision in the moment. And I mean, maybe that guy should have made a better one. I'm not a cop. I can't speak on the situation as far as what they should or shouldn't do police officer wise. Cause I, I don't know. I don't have friends that are cops. I don't, you know, I never had a family member that was a police officer or, or, or a woman like that. So it's, it's kind of hard to explain that, but I don't see why one of those officers, yeah, they, they have to push him back. But at the same time, it's like, I can't see why they weren't being attacked. It wasn't like a whole group of people that they was trying to push back. It was just one person. They could have just had, you know, they could have just kept the line moving. But let's say the guy who pushed him or the guy that was in front of him could have stopped and been like, sir, look, we understand that you're protesting, but we have to, you know, push you back. We have to escort you down the street or, Mm -hmm. you know, what have you. Take that time to have that five minute conversation. Now, whether the guy listed, um, listened to it, listened, if I can talk tonight, (laughs) (laughs) whether he listened or not. That's a whole nother story that, you know, that we will never, you know, know unless there's an alternate dimension where he didn't get pushed, but it's like, they could have took the time to do that. And now whether he did do that or not, then it's like, okay, well, if you don't do this, I'm going to arrest you and then take him in or do whatever. He wasn't listening to the rules that we, we were set, you know, do it the right way, essentially. Like even like, like even if you arrest him, and then let him go afterwards or arrest him and charge him with, oh, he didn't follow the rules, whatever that law is or whatever. You know, it's there's ways to do it and ways not to do it. But it damn sure didn't involve two officers pushing a man down to the ground and busting his head, you know? Damn sure didn't deserve that. Yeah. So if you go to the next video. Uh, the one on this page here, or the one? Yep, it's at the top. That one. This one. No, 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 not that. Down. It, wait, I thought that was the video. Well, it's. Oh yeah, it is that. It. It's yeah, it's not supposed to be that. Refresh it. It's supposed to be um something else. This one here. There. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Deck. Expand your living space. We're installing. We don't need to get that ad. Sponsored by whatever the fuck that is outlet. <laughs> what, is that? what is that patio out- vinyl outlet? No, I'm kidding. Reporter Eileen Buckley is speaking with an eyewitness who watched last night's scene unfold. No black person would have done what he did yet last night. And that was a hard push too. Because we I know. That- he could have died. 22-year-old Antonio Wells witnessed the push of Martin Gugino as he was recording on his phone in front of City Hall Thursday night. Wells was one of the few protesters who stayed after a peaceful protest and initially defied the 8 p.m. curfew and police orders to leave. He got up off the steps and walked up to him and said, 
no, I'm not going to move. And that's when the police said, push him, push him. And then they pushed him to the ground. So you're saying you actually heard the police say, push him, push him? I did hear that, yes. There are a lot of questions surrounding why Gugino approached officers. Watching this video recorded by WBFO reporter Mike Desmond, you can see Gugino move his right hand up to the officer. But Wells doesn't believe Gugino had any intention of violence. He had a mm. in his hands and his phone. He wasn't reaching for anything and he was just standing there. I know one thing is that Martin is a very nonviolent person. Vicki Ross is executive director of the Western New York Peace Center. Ross says she has known Gugino for years, saying he is a longtime member of their organization and has been an outspoken voice on both local and worldwide issues. Gugino's blog page says he is an Amherst resident. He says he has been arrested at protests four times, but never convicted. Martin is a peaceful, very peaceable person. Ross says she's pleased the Buffalo Police Commissioner immediately suspended the officers involved. But when I asked her if she thinks the officers should be fired, Ross paused. I want to talk to Martin. Martin Gugino is here at ECMC being treated for his injury. Vicki Ross was hoping to come down here to visit him, but with the COVID restrictions, that won't be possible. In Buffalo, Eileen Buckley, 7 Eyewitness News. Are you feeling stuck inside? Hmm. Still fucked up though. Yeah. I just don't see a Except reason why they had to push him. You know? They didn't have to push him. Yeah. Uh, other than them being pissed off that he was still out there and that he approached them, they didn't have to to push him like that. So, with anything. Yeah, so you have your orders. Someone approaches you or whatever, you, you take care of them, you deal with them. But at the same time, I think you as a human have to know what you can and can't do. Yeah. At least, at least like hum, in a humane way. Yeah. I know how strong I am, right? Exactly. If a woman approaches me, however many pounds she may be, and she gets in my face, do I have the right to push her? No matter how many times I told her, leave me the fuck alone? get out of my face no i don't have that right some guys would say yes but i agree with you some guys would say yes some guys will be if, assholes if she starts putting her hands on me at the same time do i still have that right to get her off me some would say yes mm -hmm. i would also say yes <laughs> if, if i can't move like if i'm not if i can't yeah. if i can't get, get out of the situation, situation yeah yeah that wasn't that situation with, no. that they couldn't get out of. You have a 75 year old male, skinny as shit, mm -hmm. older gentleman. No threat at all. Like, I mean, no threat. He has right. a helmet and a cell phone. That's it. And yeah. you can see it. And when he, when he did that, even when he went up there and did that, I didn't see any of that being a threatful manner. He may no. have put his hand in something in, in a way because he didn't want anybody moving past him. Right. Mm -hmm. At the same time, you see he ain't got a gun and if yeah. you push him you see if you push him like that then you already know he's not a threat i wouldn't even call that a push that was a shove well yeah yeah, yeah. He, he he took like two or three steps back before he fell so that that, that tells you how hard he was pushed it wasn't mm -hmm. like they just pushed his shoulder a little bit like sir you got to keep moving no they was just get the fuck back it also shows how fragile he is he's 75 so Exactly. <laughs> it's like you would have I mean, they, did, they may not have known that he's 75, but you can truly see Man, that he's old. you can see he's old, old, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, you can see he's old. So at, at that age, why don't you have any restraint? Yeah. So how would you treat a nine-year-old that, that approached you like that? You know, yeah. a 10-year-old that approached you? Yeah, would you field goal, kick the kid out the way? Like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Like, just fucking shoot for the stars and just punt the... I mean... It's 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 mind boggling how little people think in the moment. And that's not even one yeah. of those situations that's like split of the moment. He reached for a gun. I didn't know what yeah. to do. I thought about it. No, he was there. You had the opportunity to say, OK, we understand, sir. We are doing our job. Mm -hmm. We have orders. Please turn around. 
or we yeah. have to ex escort you or even detain or arrest yeah. you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They ain't say none of that. At, at that point, cool. One of you got handcuffs. Fucking yep. cuff him and arrest walk him. him that way. Yeah. Yep. And you're good. But you pushed the old man down and damn near killed him. Mm -hmm. Now, if you'd have died, I'd have been like, yo, fire the fuck out of them. Mm -hmm. That right there would have been Or at least the two that guys that mass... pushed him. Yeah. That would have been involuntary manslaughter. Yep. If he'd have died. And how so many people be... and, and how many people in life trip, fall, crack their head on something and just don't get up no more? Yeah. That, that cop was lucky as hell that guy didn't die. And he's 75. Both of the cops. Yeah. Like people people trip and fall and die every day over accidents. That wasn't a yeah. fucking accident. Nope. How many coffee tables, you know, uh, coffee table corners kill people or curbs oh, kill people? Damn, Shit, man. Like, I know it was a tough, tough thing to be like, should they be fired? Because yeah, everyone thinks about the livelihood of somebody else. And yeah, yeah. maybe they were taking orders but that could be that could be in any job where you take orders like like yeah. that's the job that you have is the preservation of life is protecting mm -hmm. and serving and yeah you got orders to go out there and get people away and yes they they disobeyed curfew they're still peaceful they're still moving you still are supposed to be human he's 75 years old yeah there is no he's fucking excuse yeah, regardless of whatever your orders, your job is to, like you said, protect and serve. That wasn't protecting. No, it wasn't. And just yeah. the, 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 okay, I will say this. When the, when a guy stepped over him, they did stop. One of them did stop yeah. and he did look, look down, but that's when the officer behind him pushed him forward to keep going. Yeah. So maybe he does have a heart. Maybe he did feel a certain way when, when he saw that the man was injured. Mm. But that's that's the kind of thing that you have to fucking deal with as an officer. Yeah. You have the power to kill people. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't, but you do. And how do you how do you take that responsibility? Well, you should take it responsibly. Exactly. You should. For me, I'd have been like, man, fuck those orders. Damn right. I'm not finna, I'm not finna push this man. You do mm -hmm. it. Shit, I'm not finna do it. Yep. I will ex I will ex escort him yep. to where he needs to go, but I ain't finna fucking push an old man. Shit, you know, everybody had a grandfather at one point. You right. know what I mean? Would you push your damn granddad? Fuck that. Yeah. I mean, if anything, let him get his rant out and say, sir, I, we understand, but we still have to escort you down the street even if they had to keep that line still and they couldn't break that line yeah cool talk and walk fucking grab him turn yeah. him around and fucking hold him and escort him where he needs to go until he can get the fuck out the way mm -hmm. there's better ways of doing shit other than that yeah that's that's fucking that's disgusting dude that's really disgusting yeah yeah it is and and that is a prime example of why this isn't a racial thing. It's a police thing. Yeah, it's a it's a uh, what do they call that? Not not excessive force, but uh, abuse of power. I think is what I'm trying to say. Abuse of authority. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly what that was. It's them abusing their authority because they're told to. So, I mean, they could have not did it, and maybe they would have got suspended or something. But it'd have been a slap on the wrist. I, I would think differently if, let's say, if there was a group of people out there, kind of like in all the other process videos we're seeing, where it's yeah. like hunt, like dozens and hundreds of people, then it's yeah. like, okay, yeah, don't break that line because that that could cause problems. But th they weren't rowdy. He was just expressing himself. And as a 75 year old man with with no gun, I mean, that's not even a threat. Let him express himself. Move him down the street. Or arrest him if he refuses to, you know, to comply with your, you know, with what you're telling him. There were so many different ways you can handle that. Pushing him was definitely not one. And this is coming from a Buffalo mayor that's like, oh, we got contingency plans for everything. We got contingency plans for the city. We're going to so protect our shit. So it's like Trump. That's basically you're, you're, you're giving the people an ultimatum. Don't ride Pretty because much. we got shit, we got shit uh, in place. 
That's exactly mm-hmm. what that was. It's like that Trump speech. Don't ride because we're going to send out the National Guard and the military. Exactly what that is. You know, at that point, for somebody who was talking all that kind of shit, and yeah, and then suspend the two officers that were following orders, I would see mm-hmm. why they, why 57 of them walked out. Because if yeah. you know, if you see that they ain't got your back, why would you have their back? At the same yep. time, you should know what you got into. Yeah. You know I'm what pretty, kind of person that you're working for. Yep, I'm pretty sure that when they got hired that it, it wasn't, they weren't blindsided by all of the, the shit that cops are doing. Yeah. As soon as you this get in new. there for a little, yeah, as soon as you get in there for a few years, it's like you see what's going on. You know the dirt and the shit that, that cops hide. I mean, because they're people just like anybody else. Mm-hmm. And if you sit there and let shit idly go by, then mm-hmm. then that means you accept it. Yep. It's um You, you would rather trade call- the money for your morals. Yeah, what do they call that? Uh crime of crime of omission or, or something exactly. like that. Where you have the ability to act but you don't. And something happens. I I, I um, think it's what it is. Like if you have the ability to save somebody but you don't, or something yeah. like that. I know that's a thing in New York, or at least it was. Uh, it's like if you see somebody getting robbed and you choose not to help, yeah, then you can get arrested for it. Is that what you're saying? Um, well, we're not getting robbed, but but let's say like if a kid was drowning, uh-huh. and you'd be like, "Oh, that kid's drowning. Let me not save him." You know? Do you have the ability? Can you swim? Well, I mean, if you knew how to swim, obviously. Okay, because I'm about to say, like, like in- I can't fucking swim. I throw some <laughs> shit. <laughs> Grab a hold of my hand. Jolly confirms hey. that kid would be one dead small little child. That'd be, that'd be one floater. That is, that <laughs> float his head. So it better like I'll say it like this: the water can't be over my head because otherwise it'd be two dead motherfuckers floating in the water if I jump in. <laughs> like I'm just saying, just saying. I'm being a realist here. Yeah, it's. I think I think that's what that's called, but I know some something is called the crime of omission, where it's like the failure to act and do something, and you can, you know, you used to or you used to be able to get charged for it. I mean, it's probably not not like that no more, but but I think it's called something like that. But yeah, you know, well, that would be something that the other officers in the um, George Floyd case would have been charged yeah. with. Exactly. Um, these these guys, I can't say it's the same thing because that happens so quickly. You can't do yeah. anything about it once it's over. Yeah. But that was one of those moments. It's like it was just up to those two officers to decide what they wanted to do, and they chose wrong. Yeah. yeah On did. a humanity standpoint, humanity standpoint, they chose wrong. Officer standpoint, they probably did exactly what they were told. Hmm. Yeah, that's why I said feelings wise, I, I want to say I'm fired, but cop wise, legal, legally wise, I, I can't say that because if they were told to do that, then that's their job. Yeah. I mean, it's it's the management's problem and the, the force's problem, you know, because they were told to do that from the beginning. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I mean, it could be just like you said, the management probably don't give a fuck. They may be throwing them under the bus. Hey, we got caught. You got to take the fall it is what it is. You know, it's they have to appear to be, you know, following the the, the norm and say, oh, yeah, look, look, we did this. They were wrong. And they have to appear to say that because otherwise it gives them bad press. So you know they why you make those like, fucking decisions man mm-hmm. so i mean it's it's fucked up because it didn't have to happen at the end of the day it's just fucked up yeah so that's that i mean if more news comes out about this maybe we'll do an update on it but honestly i don't think we need another update you know the guy's alive they're not going to charge him with murder or attempted murder more than likely they will either choose to sus- well they're already suspended without pay they will either choose to f- let them go or not do they deserve to be fired maybe not yeah, I'm, I- I'm sure they didn't think that he would fall when they pushed him I'm sure they wasn't trying to push him down they yeah. just didn't realize how much force it would take to actually get the man backwards I could, yeah. I could probably say that still a stupid fucking thing to do to an old man yeah yeah it is but let us know in the comments do you guys believe that they should be fired do you guys believe that they should be suspended or do you think that no action should have been taken at all uh, you can let us know in the comments and we would love to hear from you yes we do 
Um, I don't know about Jolly. I, I'm assuming he does, but I know I try to, you know, to reply to most of the comments that, you know, that we get very, you know, very, very free that we get. But um, it's always, you know, I always want to have a conversation in the comment section of the videos and explain our points and hear, hear other people's points and stuff like that, because they may have different views and stuff that we do, you know, and it's maybe we can talk about that in a future video too, depending on what those views are. So it yeah, is what it is. I, will I know say I ain't going to agree with that shit. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> one thing I will say though, before we end it is I would love to hear, you know, the guy's side of things. I know when the article said he wanted to be kept private and stuff, but if he did an interview with somebody, I would love to hear his side of things and what he thinks should happen to those two cops that same here same here definitely if that if that information comes out you can find it here on this channel because we will talk about that we would love to see what he thinks as a active protester for that many years just see his side of things and when it comes to the well-being of the officers that did him wrong mm -hmm. I was, I'm, I'm waiting for you to end it I mean, you've been using oh the okay okay using yeah uh <laughs> so if you guys <laughs> If you guys have any, have any other comments, topics, or videos that you guys want us to react to or discuss or give our views and opinions on, let us know in the comments below. We will find those. You can probably even find us on Twitter. Nah, we'll come back with some Twitter information. You can find all that in the links in the description. And uh, that way you can hit us up there as well with any videos that you want to see. Peace yeah. out, y'all. Be safe out there. Like, follow, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff. All that Deuces. good shit. <laughs>